Stop yelling at me. You need to go inside. Are you ready for the big reveal? We finally learned what happened between Ji Hoon and Drusilla that had him on the ground bawling. What happened? He lets go of Drusilla, lets her run all the way in the street. I yell at him to get her, uh -huh. and he yells at me in front of my mom to not yell at him while he's letting her run that way when he knows that she can get hit by a car, but he's more concerned that I'm yelling at him. Yep, that's it. Don't get me wrong, I am glad Drusilla did not get harmed, but the way they reacted was as if she did. Hey 90 Day Fans fam, it's Melicia. On the latest episode of The Other Way, the challenges that come with parenthood hit a new level for some of the couples. <laughs> and for Ji Hoon in particular, his failure to meet that challenge resulted in a face-off with Devin's mom. He better step up because you'll Drusilla, run. Devon, keep yelling angry mad. I say, stop yelling at me. Devon's mom, Alicia, explosion. After the incident, Ji Hoon stayed outside to calm his nerves. And Devon took Drusilla into the house, but she shortly came back out to confront him. He's proven time and time again that he is not ready for a family. And I just feel like I made a huge mistake. You just like yelling me. I very fast run. Get the got the catrasella. You were more focused on your pride instead of protecting Drusilla. I get both sides. I'm not a mother yet, but I can only imagine the fear you would feel in that moment watching your child run towards the street. But at the same time, it is not all Ji Hoon's fault. It's not. Drusilla didn't listen. I'm not sure why exactly, but that's definitely something they can work on. Listening skills. 그냥 내 입장에서도 드레스가 굉장히 사랑하고 아, 내가 아빠인 것처럼 그래서 나한테 왜 이러냐 넌내 기분 한 번이라도 이해해 보려고 생각해 본 적이 있어? Nothing is Ji Hoon's fault. It's always everyone else's fault. So I have no sympathy for him when he cries in front of me. Well, whether it was sympathy or not, a few minutes later, she forgave him. I will be a better dad because I really love you guys. No, I don't want free. I want family. Only Devon and Drusel and Taeyang. I'm sorry. My honest heart. Okay, didn't do that. That went pretty smooth. But then Ji Hoon felt like it was necessary to apologize to Devin's mom. And uh, just take a look at what happened. I'm really sorry, mom. Just, I'm really bouncing. So you think saying so sorry is gonna be great when I'm scraping Drusilla off the damn street? Just, 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 dude, your tears mean nothing to me. Drusilla is everything to me. As expected, Devin's mom was definitely harder to get through to than Devin. After Ji Hoon pleaded his case, she left him with these words. Ji Hoon, I honest to God, it's not my decision. It's Devin's decision. I know you do. You know what I'm you say, I understood. But if you kill my granddaughter, I'm going to kill you. Mm. All right, let's move on to our final must-see moment. Benyam took Ariella, who is Jewish, to his Orthodox church to discuss baptizing their baby. 
My parents are also not of the same religion. My father is Jewish and my mother is Roman Catholic. Honestly, I always felt really uncomfortable with the idea of Christianity because I don't believe in hell. It's just so uh, awful to me. I don't think that it's something that we should be teaching our son about. Well, Ariella is about to get even more uncomfortable because Biniam was told by the priest that in order for their son to get baptized, she has to become a Christian. So we need to both be the same religion? Yeah. And he says, you have to baptize too. Sorry? This isn't gonna work. My first thought is no way. I've already given up so much and sacrificed so much to be with baby. I feel like he's just asking too much with this. Based off of what he just said about heaven and how Ariella feels about hell, it's very obvious that these two have a long road ahead of them, even longer than we expected. I feel really sad because I can't help but feel like I might not be the right person for him. But I love him and I have no idea how we're going to get over this, how we're going to compromise on such an important topic. The entire situation hits Ariella hard next week as her mom prepares to head back to the States. I'm going to miss you. Don't make me cry. All of a sudden, I feel really overwhelmed with the fact that I'm here to stay. I'm not looking forward to being alone with you. I'm not happy about it. Ugh. Oh, Ariella. Hey, it's so true. The choices you make determine everything. All right, 90 Day Fans fam, make sure you stick with ET to stay updated on all the latest news from our guilty pleasure. I'll see you next time.